my name is Eliza and today we're going to explore an out-of-this-world topic, meteorites. Let's start by answering the question, what is a meteorite? Most people think of a shooting star, but there's more to it. It all starts in space as a meteoroid. A meteoroid is a rocky or metallic object that orbits the sun and is smaller than an asteroid. Meteoroids are fragments or material that is ejected during a collision. It can be from an asteroid or a comet. Sometimes this material enters the Earth's atmosphere and we call it by a new name, a meteor. A meteor can start out as a meteoroid, asteroid, or comet, and as it passes through the atmosphere, it creates a streak of light. Every day, millions of meteors enter the Earth's atmosphere. The object can change and shrink as it travels to the surface. But let's get back to our initial question, what is a meteorite? If that material doesn't burn up into the atmosphere and it actually makes it to the surface of the Earth, the name is updated to a meteorite. So a meteorite is when a meteor makes contact with the Earth. There are a few different kinds of meteorites, iron, stony, and stony iron meteorites. The meteorites in these images are at the Idaho Museum of Mining and Geology. So let's start with stony meteorites. A stony meteorite is a non-metallic meteorite that can be labeled as a chondrite or achondrite. If it has chondrules or the tiny round circles we see in this image of the stony meteorite, it is called a chondrite. Chondrules can be made up of very old material and can tell us more about our solar system. If it doesn't have chondrules, it's called an achondrite. These stony meteorites have lower amounts of iron and nickel, and they look similar to the rocks we find near the Earth's surface. Next, iron meteorites. Iron meteorites are dense, and they are 90 to 95% iron and nickel. Their composition is similar to the Earth's core. Even though iron meteorites are more rare, they're more likely to be found because they're heavy, metallic, and they don't break down very easily. If an iron meteorite is cut, ground, or polished, and treated with acid, a beautiful pattern can emerge called a woodman staten pattern. You can see the pattern in the left iron meteorite image. Finally, stony iron meteorites. Stony iron meteorites have a similar amount of silicate minerals and iron, so they are stony and iron. There are two types of stony iron meteorites, palisites and mesosiderites. The stony iron meteorite in the picture is a beautiful palisite that is made up of iron and nickel, as well as the mineral olivine. For those who have August birthdays, you've seen olivine before. Your birthstone peridot is the same as olivine. Before we wrap up, let's talk about the different ways a meteorite can affect the surface of the Earth. When a meteorite impacts, a large amount of energy is released in the form of heat and pressure. First, this pressure can create a crater, hole, or depression at the surface. Around the crater, there is usually high sides or a ring. Second, the released heat can change and liquefy the rocks at the surface that later cool, creating a new pattern and type of rock. This rock is called impact melt. This liquefied rock can also splash up into the air as the crater is formed. When it falls back to the surface of the earth, it cools and forms uniquely shaped rocks called tektites. Tektites are glassy like obsidian and can be found near or sometimes far away from the impact site. What about the rocks below the impact site in the earth's crust? These rocks can also be affected, but in a different way. The large amount of pressure from a meteorite's impact may travel into the crust and break or shatter these deep rocks. These fractured rocks are called shatter cones. This strange pattern tells us a lot of pressure has been applied to one area, similar to a hammer hitting the head of a nail. To finish up today, let's write in our nature journal on what we've learned and experienced. Find your journal or a piece of paper. You can use a laptop, but if you like to use color or collage, this will be challenging. Record your experiences and what you know about meteorites. You can include images, color, or even a small object. Here is a list of questions that can be answered. What is a meteorite? What are the different types and which is your favorite? 
Don't forget to include a sketch of a meteorite and how it can change the surface of the Earth after impact. Thanks everyone for tuning in today, you rock!